fucking cold. <sighs> Grand Rising. Good morning. How are you? I'm cold. So, I'm going to warm up, share to a couple groups. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty early, though. It's early, it's cold, it's, you know, it's a, it's a deep thing right now. I'm hanging in there, though. You know. So, uh, good morning. You know, grand rising. How are you doing? You know, all that good shit. <clears throat> Today's video is going to be a pretty interesting one. <laughs> I, think I, I think I see that every video. Nah, I don't really think all of them is going to be that interesting. Because a lot of them I don't even give a fuck about talking about. But, you know, some things I enjoy speaking on more than others. But that's like life, you know. You don't enjoy doing every goddamn thing. Some things you enjoy doing more than others. So, uh, on this cold-ass morning with my thick old, you know, fox fur. It ain't really fox. I don't know what the fuck Abercrombie put in this coat. But, you know, it's it's warm, it's comfortable, and it's, it's, it's getting me on course. God damn, man, these fucking chemtrails, bro. I don't think I'll wake up early enough and look in the sky to really see them, but, like, bursting into what you call a cloud. They go, uh, in the cloud, you know, but that's not what this video is about. I give a fuck about these chemtrails. Can y'all hear me? I'm moving my phone in and out, so I don't know if y'all can hear me, but if y'all can hear me, just, you know, sound check, little dot, 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 I'm with you, you know, that way I can kind of keep going. No sound. going through a lot of, lot of issues, so, uh, man, <clears throat> so, speaking with someone yesterday, and we were speaking on, uh, how a lot of temples, a lot of temples that were honored to females, Isis, Inanna, Ishtar, uh, these temples, you know, even the Sphinx is a feminine uh, construct. They don't want to give credit where credit's due. Uh, in essence, you know that the Sphinx is a, uh, a, a, well, they'll tell you like a lion or a cat or a feline. Well, please understand, felines are feminine you know, in, all astro in, all, in all aspects. You know, so just the fact that the Sphinx is depicted as a uh, cat, pussy, it shows you which polarity they're pulling from. But, uh, I know, it was it was cutting in and out because, you know, it was adjusting between, um, my car speaker and the phone. I know y'all can hear me, so let's keep it moving. Because if y'all wouldn't, y'all would have said something. So, uh, <clears throat> we were speaking on how a lot of these temples, actually it was uh, someone who, who invokes or channels Lilith and was like, you know, I remember all my temples and, you know, what happened? I said they got destroyed. Well, they didn't really get destroyed. They got converted. Just like anything, you know. Like, for example, you know, you have the black race and the white race. And, okay, you have a black person and you have a white person. You got a black man and a white, a white woman, okay? And they come together. Do you understand what you're kind of doing? You're kind of like destroying the purity of those two things. I'm not knocking it. I'm just giving you an idea. So you would consider a, a, a black man pure, a white woman pure in their race. But then when you put them together, they're converging. So you're coming up with like a whole new concept, like a whole new product. So it's not like it, you know, it uh went away. It just converted. It kind of like upgraded. It kind of like uh became something new from something old. So this is what happened to all the temples. You know, they didn't like get destroyed. We still got churches here. We still got the government. We still got everything that was connected to church or temples. Um, but they've been converted into something different. 
So uh, some of these things have been destroyed, though. So I won't say everything was converted because, you know, not everything converts into a, you know, you still got black people, still got white people out here. So everything ain't converted just so you guys don't get lost. Everything ain't mixed. <clears throat> everything is starting to mingle via sex, which is why I don't think people really understand. That's how you get things. It's all done through sex. You get who we are now done through sex. The mixed races here now are done through sex. Uh, you got here in North America through sex. You know, it's pretty interesting. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, pyramids. Cause this is really what I want you to kind of understand while I go get my coffee. Where's the largest pyramid in the world? Do y'all know that? Do y'all know where the largest pyramid in the world is? Don't worry, I'll wait. Because it's deep. It's going to go into, like, Trump, Mexicans, South America, Queen of the South, all this shit. <laughs> but let's ask this question once again. Where is the biggest pyramid in the world? Please don't hit me with Africa. No offense to all you Pan-Africans. <clears throat> Remember, first word is Pan. So if you don't even know the who, the, who or what Pan is, please don't hit me with some Pan-African shit. But let's keep it moving. Um, so the biggest uh, pyramid on this uh, known planet is in America, or the Americas. It's actually uh, two or three miles um, from New Mexico, so I guess it's technically Mexico uh, where it is. But it's so big, it kind of like uh, taps into the Americas, you know, Mexico. In North America, you know, and it's interesting because Mexico ain't really considered, uh, you know, still considered, I guess, North America. <laughs> Even though they don't follow any philosophies of the Norse or North. <sighs> Remember, you know, the Bible, people, you know, the Bible is speaking on a race of people. It's called Israel. You know, the bloodline of, of, well, let me not. Essentially, the bloodline of Lucifer. I explained to you guys how Lucifer placed itself inside of Adam, you know, but you're understanding the story of one race in the Bible, one people, Israel, in that Bible. There are other books. There's other books talking about other people, you know. <clears throat> North mythology is speaking on uh, the giants and gods, in essence. It's a deep thing. You know, a lot of other religions didn't really bring in gods. Didn't really bring in um, these superior or, or grand beings that are grand or larger than themselves. No. In ancient culture, they were ancestors. Therefore, adjacent or just like us. You never really put them on like some crazy huge pedestal that they were so grand or large. This is because white folks had giants. It's a deep thing. It's a deep thing. But I'm going on tangents here. Let me stay focused. Yes. The Vikings are descendants of the giants, or the Nephilim that the Bible talks about. Remember David, you know, he beat a, he beat a giant, Goliath. That's what gave him his position, you know. It was all about ridding the world of giants, or giant white folks. The Irish. Steep. Anyway. Remember, ish. To be like. The ire, the ire is trying to be like, who ish? Who is ish? Ishtar. Jewish, Jewish people trying to be the people of Lilith or Isis or Ishtar. But mm, they're not quite the people of Lilith, so they're like ish. They're close to it, you know. I'm going to be there around five-ish, six-ish, you know, close to it. They ain't exactly like it, but, you know, we close. We getting there. So, uh, who has the biggest pyramid in the world. It's in America. It's called uh, Chalula or Chakalula, some shit like that. I ain't good with these words. I understand it got a La and Lu in it, which is a pretty interesting thing. You know, Lu, like light. Lu, like Lucifer. Lu, X, uh, Lux, interesting, you know? L-A-X, interesting, you know? The La X or the... Let me just keep going. <laughs> You know how I see words. So, uh, you're saying in America, the most uh, propagated movement would be um, 
building a wall and preventing a certain race of people that live below us to become a part of us. And this is a pretty deep agenda because it's everywhere. It's what the fucking president's talking about. So, you know, it's deep. If the president's talking about it, then it gotta, you know, have some cadence, some residence. It ain't just going away. This is my point. If the president's talking about it, it's not going away. When the president was talking about terror, you see how that affected good old Bush, you know? So it's a deep thing. So, uh, let's go a little bit deeper. If I'm telling you that the oldest pyramids in the world, I say oldest because it's the largest. Usually something that's the largest is usually the oldest. On this plane, you know, the larger the trees, the older it's been here. The larger the lake, the longer it's been here. You know, so uh, something larger signifies it's been here for a second. The pyramids in Egypt, you know, they're kind of more modern. It's a deep thing. Antarctica uh, where, was where a lot of civilization reside, and then they spread up like a Y. So some went to the west, I mean to the east, some went to the west. The, rest, the west would have been your Americas. The east would have been your Africa and all that shit. So, you know, a lot of civil, all civilization starts below, then goes up. Don't get lost. Uh, so, uh, these uh, genius beings that I, I often speak on, you call them Yetis or Bigfoots. This is why the whole Yeti movement, I was at work the other day and I saw somebody wearing some shirt that said Yeti. And I was like, what the fuck is that? That's like a clothing line. I'm like, oh shit, look at that. You know, so uh, these um, highly informed uh, mammals... Uh, helped construct these pyramids. And they have a uh, a descendant here. You call Mexicans or Aztecs. Well, Aztecs are your current or modern Mexicans. <laughs> so, you know, you have the Aztec Empire. They had pyramids. You know, they had serpents. And uh, they built, you know, exceptional pyramids in those South Americas. And North America. There's pyramids here, too. And uh, these Aztecs then were uh, um, invaded. See, this is what messes me up. Because a lot of people think things just disappear. How the fuck does things just disappear? <laughs> Where does the world is that happen? Things don't just disappear. Gotta go somewhere. So uh, they tell you that the Mayans, you know, just disappeared. You know, your Aztecs, your Mayans, all in the same category. Very similar to, like, uh, Egyptian and Hebrews. You know, same category. Might be different sets. Same shit. They'll kill me. They're like, the fuck you mean Egyptians is Hebrews? <laughs> boy, oh boy. The world, the, world, the world we live in. Just focus on what people do. You can figure out what cultures they represent. Can't have Hebrews in uh, Egypt <laughs> if they don't uh, apply the same principles, in essence. Just like you can't have all these religions in America if you don't apply the same foundation. You know, we all really the same. Got Christianity, then you got a whole bunch of sects. <clears throat> so uh, you have these. Uh, Race of people who are builders, master builders. Bob the Builders, you know, it's interesting. And uh, I spoke on this before. Not in this context. I spoke on this as, uh, why did they come to America for us to build ships? Why did they have to come all the way to America for us to build ships? Because no one else knew how to do it. <laughs> no one else. God, you going to let me just hit you? No other races on this known world during that time really had the capabilities of building ships like these good old uh, natives that you call Aztecs, Mayans, and all the other words you want to use. <clears throat> they were master builders. They knew this. 
They knew that they were master builders when they came here. Spaniards, the conquistadors and all that shit, you know. <clears throat> you know, Spain came here, not Europe. Or not uh, England, that's the word I want to use, sorry. So, uh, what happened to a lot of the uh, Mayans, Aztecs? It was called uh, sex. You know, sex is a powerful thing. You, know, you get a, a Spaniard coming over from Spain, sleeping with an Aztec. You get something new. You know, you do that for about 100 years. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to happen to all the Aztecs and Mayans. <laughs> you know, they're going to be something different. You know, just like... Uh, Hundred years ago, you know, the black people did not. <laughs> the the black people you see now in America was not the black people you saw in America a hundred years ago. So a hundred years makes a big difference. A hundred years ago we was enslaved. Hundred years ago we was drinking from separate water fountains. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna go through y'all y'all comments in a second. I just want to get this thought out. So um, you know. We are the most important people on this planet. That's why we have never left, you know, America. We've always been here. We are your natives. Um, this is why Trump has such an issue with us, because he ain't native here. I fuck with Trump, though. Don't get lost. You know, but those that ain't native here can't really get the messages from the land. And the lessons, and the lessons is built. <clears throat> the Mexicans got it, you know. They're building their asses off. They're building America right now. It's pretty interesting. Make America great again. I guess hire some Mexicans. It's deep. It's a deep thing. You know, How to make America great again is only tapping into the natives or the ancestors. They're the ones who made America great in the first place. That's why your asses came here. So you got to ask this question. Let's make America great again. Well, why is America great? Something had to make it great for you to get here. Mr. European. It's interesting, you know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there's a war to, um, to uh, restrict these beings from building. So, you know, they make them build houses and shit because they got the message, you know, you're going to be building. They just don't quite know what they're going to be building. Just like uh, you got the message that your salvation is coming. You just don't know how you're going to be saved. So it's a deep thing. But uh, a lot of these um, natives, which are Mexicans have gotten the message to build, and soon they will be building the temples of old. Soon they will be building your Isis temples, your Inanna temples, the goddess temples. They still honor the goddess. They still honor female deities. <clears throat> That's a part of their religion. You, know, you can say uh, Christianity honors uh, female deities, but they don't. Catholics honor female deities, just one, and that's Mary. You know, so you don't even really get a, a plethora of female deities outside of uh, the Mexican culture. It's a pretty interesting thing, you know. So they, like I said, even honor uh, the female. So they're going to be given the rights of passage to build up the temples of that which they honor and worship. <clears throat> yeah. Mexicans are our friends right now. Let's not get lost. I'm done with this idea, this concept. You know, I had many other ones I was going to come up here and talk about. But, uh, you know, I just so happened to have Mexicans next to my house building and uh, restoring, <laughs> which <laughs> helped me see a thing. Because it's deep. You know, I was on the phone with one of my uh, friends and uh, she was on the she was on the phone with me when these uh these workers uh, dropped something from the top of the roof and, and smashed my uh, glass to my car. They didn't really smash it, cracked it. It's an interesting thing. Everything is a trigger, people. Everything. You know, and uh, that triggered a level of rage in me because, you know, you dropped some shit on my car. They fixed it. They paid for it, gave me a hundred and one dollars. I don't even know what the fuck one on one was. I mean, I do, you know, but I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? That's all I have. What am I gonna do with this dollar? But uh, I've been trying to explain to you guys in the last couple of videos, you know, a lot of the things that are happening in this life has to do with uh, glass, mirrors, reflections. 
and how they're trapping your light during the day, you know, crystals, grids, prisms. And as they're trapping uh, your light body during the day, you get drained. And I kind of had to get triggered with that idea. So, you know, I'll say I thank those uh, Mexican workers for dropping that uh, whatever the fuck they dropped on my window or glass, uh, which triggered something to make me pay attention to glass. And then before you know it, I'm doing lectures talking about, you know, the science of glass. That's an old video. I'm about to order my Dunkin'. Y'all got to give me a second. <clears throat> Dunkin' Donuts, would you like to try our latte and cappuccino for $2 only? No, thank you. Can I have a medium hot pumpkin spice coffee with uh, four creams and two sugars? Medium hot pumpkin coffee with four creams and two sugars? Yes, and, and, a, and a, a toasted almond donut. And a toasted almond flavor? No, donut. The flavor is pumpkin spice. Let's not okay, get lost. Okay, one toasted coconut donut. But yeah. All right, anything else? That's it. Grab it off, please. Thank you. Duncan about to sponsor me. All oh, these goddamn Duncan videos I be doing, they better give me a deal. <laughs> Mix metaphysics with Duncan. <clears throat> Coffee talk. <clears throat> yeah, I think they did drop like a brick or something. I don't know what the fuck they dropped, but, you know, I'm their friends now. Me and, me and them didn't really get along in the beginning. You know, but this is deep. You know, you guys are, are, see, this is temples. See, I had a female with me. Not no more. You know, but my female that I had with me was a very, uh, <laughs> was a very aggressive being, you know. So I knew this. So, <clears throat> you know, I became aggressive fucking with her. But anyway, you know, I, uh, I handled that in an aggressive way. You know, but in, at the end of the day, you know, they need to respect my property. So it's deep. You know, but we're in better terms now. You know, and they helped me understand something even deeper. There's no other race on this planet that builds like them. This is facts. So if you're going to think about building, because this nation is burning down. <laughs> no offense. It's reality. <laughs> and if Mr. Trump don't realize... <clears throat> that he is shitting on the only help he is really going to have. Because if he's going to stay his ass in America, he's going to need people to build America up. And black people damn sure ain't doing it. White people damn sure ain't doing it. Asians damn sure ain't doing it. <laughs> Indians damn sure ain't doing it. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Thank you very much. This looked wrong. Nah, we good. We, we, we live. Duncan live this morning. I right, fuck with y'all. <clears throat> okay, all right. So someone tapped into that whole ant frequency. I got y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> now we can go a little bit deeper, you know. Y'all just be having me up here talking and shit. Like, y'all, I'm gonna just listen to this nigga. <clears throat> all right, you know, but I like when y'all add, you know, add some shit so I can fucking help y'all get it. All right, so boom. A lot of us are products of the 80s. <clears throat> so we can remember a movie. Well, two movies. But one specifically where an ant came in and assisted the human being. Can you remember that? Can you remember a movie where an ant assisted the human race? Don't think too hard. It's a family classic it ain't no motherfucking deep-ass movie. Well, yeah. Um, but that was a cartoon. And uh, we can't consider the human a cartoon. So Ants is close, but there's another one. Let y'all, you know, ferment for a second. Let y'all brew, you know. Y'all all teas or trees. So y'all gotta, like, get rooted and, you know, <clears throat> think for a second. I can't give y'all all the answers. But y'all like, I don't want to say the wrong answer. If I say the wrong thing, this nigga will think I'm crazy. Or think I'm, nigga, I, all this shit I say in these videos ain't true. The fuck you mean? We ain't perfect. It's what I was able to interpret for that day. I might have a different interpretation today. I might have learned something different. You might have taught me I was wrong. Ain't no room for that. 
ain't no room for hours wrong? I guess not. We're supposed to be perfect, you know? Y'all look at me like perfection, you know? If I say I'm wrong, oh, my God. <laughs> what? What this nigga talking about? All right, so anyway, <clears throat> honey, I shrunk the kids. Y'all so lost. Yes, 80s. Honey, I shrunk the motherfucking kids. From macro to micro, people. Let's stay focused here. This is all what this is about. The journey from micro to macro and then back to the micro cell. Going back inside a body. So, uh, honey, I shrunk the kids. Rick Moranis and that shit. He shrunk himself down. Well, not him. He shrunk his kids down. And, uh... <clears throat> They were in a, uh, in nature, or their nature. You call that your garden. It's a deep thing. And they were lost in their garden. It's a deep thing, very similar to Adam and Eve. Very deep thing. And uh, this horned deity, or antler deity, came forward and assisted them. That wasn't it. The bees came too. It's a deep thing. But you don't even understand that the ants and the bees are actually connected. So there's a video that's going around that's viral. You should look it up. There was a uh, bumblebee that died. And you know what happened? All the ants in the surrounding area went and got rose petals. And gathered rose petals all around this bee. This bumblebee. It's a deep thing. Very deep thing. Ants understand that there is a uh, divine essence that pushes on everything. So they're honoring that divine presence, even in the ant world. They got to worry about winter. They got to worry about hunger. They got to worry about uh, all this other shit. But they stop their own selfish agenda to put rose petals about, around something that is not them. That shit is deep. That's so deep. Y'all gotta see the video. Made me cry. I'm lying. <clears throat> Let me go through some of these comments. So y'all go around to like wait for me to end this video for y'all to see what I was talking about. But you know, I still drop dope shit throughout the whole video. So y'all don't gotta leave if y'all want to. I lived in Mexico last year. Well, you know. I'm happy you was able to uh, radiate some of the messages. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we're going to talk about Germans, you know. It's interesting that they use the word German, you know, the Germanic species. Well, what is the one thing that uh, disrupts um, the biometrics of the body? Germs. So once again, I'm going to say that again. <clears throat> it's interesting that there's a race of people that consider themselves the German, the Germanic species. And there is one thing that disrupts the biometrics of your body. Germs. Germs start off as a micro cell. Don't get lost. Man, that's a bright sun right there. Oh, it's a bright, it's a bright sun. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the artistic uh, depictions of the Vikings fit the descriptions and the images of the Nephilim. They are very much so the Nephilim. Uh, the Bible doesn't really want to talk about giants. It kind of like subdues the giant talk. You know, even, um, who's the, see, I don't, I, I, Listen, I'm going to have all this shit, all these, because I, I know that I need these words. So this is why I'm going to start reading Bibles and all that shit. But there was a being in the Bible that had to, like, wrestle a man and then was, like, given the name Israel. Some shit like that, you know, wrestling with God, you know. And, and God was like, you know, damn, you know, you're equal. You know, I'm going to name you Israel, you know, some shit like that. Well, there was only one being or one concept that wrestled, you know, the Anunnaki's. And they were known to be giants. 
a deep thing. How all you black people would feel if you knew all the Anunnaki's of old were white people? I'll probably fuck y'all up. What would you do if Inky was a pale being? I'll probably fuck y'all up. It's a deep thing. I'm not really here to tell y'all who y'all people are or who y'all believe in. It's just a thought. <clears throat> yes, Giants. There you go. And there's a football team called the uh, New York or New Amsterdam, because, you know, that's really what New York was called. So the New Amsterdam Giants. Remember, the York and the uh, Amsterdam is all European constructs. You know, it's a deep thing. Pole reversal. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, Takashi 6 9 his first song that ever came out was called Pole. It was with a, a being called Triple Red. Or Triple, or Trippy, Trippy Red. You know, but the Triple Red would be, uh, would be brown, would be red, and would be pink. Y'all really know the color of planets? I should probably uh, upload that. Because, you know, what science told you the color of planets are is so wrong. Did y'all even know that Mercury was pale? It's like a pale gray. It's like an off-white. That's why uh, off-white is so popular. Because it's uh, showing its allegiance to the Mother Mary or planet Mercury. But, yeah, it's the pale white horse that everyone's so scared of. Behold the pale white horse, Mercury, Mary. And they're scared as fuck when Mercury rises. You know, there's a movie called that, too. They're scared when Mercury rises, when the mother rises. Because everything that comes under the mother will be subdued. It's a deep thing. I'm just sipping my coffee, enjoying living my best life. And I ain't going back and forth with y'all niggas. I'm just telling y'all. Huh. You know? It's an interesting thing when you just let it flow. You know, a lot of these motherfuckers use these documents and use these, uh, these books and things, and it kind of restricts them from really seeing the bigger picture. But I did this for a whole year, so it's okay for me now to kind of finite some of the ideas that I've uh, brought into the life or light. But would you define light as a uh, as a, a good thing or a bad thing? You know, even though you really shouldn't define anything as good or bad, you know, but if you had to. You, know, you would uh, associate light with good. It's pretty interesting. The ancients associated light with bad. The sun sets. They don't stay in the sky all day. <clears throat> Aztec uh, are still here, mixed with the... Nah, you're not listening. Then. So, uh, Layla, I love you. Just listen. You're saying that the Aztecs are still here, mixed in with the Spanish, then they're no longer Aztec. And they're no longer Spanish, it's something else. It's a whole new species. You can't say, you know, you got a black person and a white person, and then they come together, oh no, they're black. No, the fuck they're not, they're mixed. That's why you call them mixed. They're not black, they're not white, they're something else. Your child is not the mother, is not the father, it is something else. It is new. Then y'all name it. That's why it's called a Christ. And then y'all name the Christ, Jesus. It gets a Christ. It gets a crystal. It gets an egg. And then y'all name that motherfucker. <clears throat> we are all right here. We ain't going nowhere. Everything is in the earth body right now, whether y'all like it or not. Everything is here. King uh, Pat Carr. Or Paka. Yeah, uh, there's a word called Pata, uh, which are um, a word that means uh, openers or uh, or light bearers in essence. You know, Lucifer was a Pata, an opener, <clears throat> um, connected to the, the, the Nemos or Nomos. Um, yeah, and a being named Fangs that comes out of the primordial egg. But you got to kind of know about uh, Anki or An An Anki. I think that's her name, and and key, and she's uh the spindle deity. 
she is the primordial being that you guys associate with Lilith and owls and shit like that. So uh, she, uh, she birthed the first Patal. It is from her egg that uh, you get uh, your web, your light, your Lou, your Lucifer, your Pac-Man, which is really Gobble, which is really uh, Gibble or Gabriel, you know, because you get a war in heaven. You know, so everyone's fighting to be the authority. Michael is Lucifer. Lucifer is uh, said to be b battling Michael, which is really battling self. But then there was an external battle, Gabriel. You know, Gabriel came forward as the burning bush. Nigga, who told you to be the flame? Who told you to be the flame, Gabriel? The fuck you doing? Who told you to create your own uh, religious set that's an offshoot from the Hebrews, which is Lucifer's uh, group? You know, who told you to do this? Who told you to create uh, uh, Muslims? It's a deep thing. You know, in that Muslim culture, they keep the women out. It's a deep thing. <clears throat> the Mexicans are still uh, building Sons of Cortez. Yes, that's a, a interesting name because uh, American Horror Story had a season called Hotel Cortez. So, uh, <clears throat> the sons of Cortez is the sons of Cain, just so you know. Let's not get lost. And uh, the sons of Cain is a very deep thing. Follow your Bible. Welcome to Mexico, where uh, Mexico dancers are strong. It's the same country, the same earth. Freemason aspire to become master builders. Very much so. Very much so. They become masters of the brick. Didn't you say they threw a brick at me? It's interesting. Brick of knowledge. Y'all say some deep shit. Hello, fellow Mexican friends. How y'all doing? <clears throat> you know, back home and shit. Yeah, the word more, that's a deep thing. That more shit is deep. You know, but, uh... The Moors are having issues, you know, because they're they're proclaiming to be more. But when you take a title, it is symbolic for the land that which you come from. I am American. Because I'm from America. I am a Mexican because I'm from Mexico. I am European because I'm from Europe. I am Spanish because I come from Spain. You dig? So, uh, <clears throat> Moors, there's no country named Moor. But I ain't trying to have a whole bunch of Moors inbox me, cussing me out and shit. So, you know, I ain't trying to fuck y'all over, but, you know, there's no country named Moor. So, y'all get me confused when you say you're a Moor, but where is Moor? I'm just looking for more. Remember, all words have double meanings. This is a race of people who understand the idea that you can never have enough. And that, uh, <clears throat> in essence, because you can never have enough, you're never uh, content. You're never at peace. And this is what creates war. This is what creates... Uh, you're a uh, Mars or Moors, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> and your Moors are your Martians or your beings that originated from Mars. And they destroyed themselves because they wasn't complacent with themselves. They always wanted more. It's a deep thing. You know, so uh, even the Moors on this um, planet want more. They want to claim that they're more, but don't even have land, that shit's deep, it's deep, it's not for me to draw, to, 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 uh, judge though, you know, one <clears throat> by land, Mayans, two by sea, England and Spain, all right, so, since, you know, y'all smart, 
Yeah, no, it's 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 cold in this motherfucker. Yes, <laughs> Dia, it is cold as fuck. For me, for me and you, you know, we've been out of Connecticut for a minute, <clears throat> but I don't even know if you're still on this live. So, uh, one by land, two by sea. How many seas surround uh, your Americas? Mexico is stopping, uh, and that's called the Gulf of Mexico anyway. It ain't even really a sea. <clears throat> but uh, I'm trying to help y'all put things together. So there's two seas, the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean, to help you guys not get lost. One by land. <clears throat> Remember where the Mexicans went. They went up to California. They went up where the Pacific Ocean is. They went up. They came here, too, to Louisiana. They also went up to uh, New York and shit like that. But they were, um, they were killed off a lot quicker than they were in California. Um, and actually, they still um, have their cultures out west. Uh, they genocide <laughs> the motherfuckers in the east. You know, but uh, that's a whole nother conversation. But uh, there's two seas by us. Well, they told you that there was a war. Lumeria <clears throat> versus Atlantis. Land versus sea. Atlantis was your um, water beings. And your Lumerias were your land beings. And your Lumerians or Lumerians or Luz Marys. Um, were complacent. They were peaceful. They were happy with what they had, what they did. They didn't really want more. <laughs> and it was the invasion of the Moors into uh, Lumeria that um, changed things around. <clears throat> but uh, I'm actually doing a... Uh, someone wants me to go live. Well, actually, I'm not going live. I'm a pre-recorded video. Someone inboxed me and said... You know, Q, can we do a lecture on uh, witches versus warlocks? You know, I like to really go deeper. And I'm just like, you know, the fuck, you know, witches and warlocks, you know. I said, so you really talking about, like, um, nature versus science? You know, witches versus warlocks. You know, your warlocks are your modern-day scientists right now. You know, so you're really talking about nature versus science. She was like, yes. I said, okay, so then you're really talking about uh, ether versus plasma. She was like, yes. And I said, you know, ether is the heavens. And, you know, plasma is the blood. Is the red, is the hell. So you talking about, like, heaven versus hell. She was like, yes. I said, this is going to be a good-ass video, because we're on the same page. You know, I just didn't want to, you know, build on something you wasn't, you know, associated with. But she was like, no, nigga, I'm all the way there with you. I said, then we're going to have a great video. It's like, there's a whole bunch we could talk about with that. The er versus the is. Mm. Isis versus God. It's a deep thing. You know, God rules heaven. Isis and Anna Ishtar rules the egg, which is the body, and the bodies or bodies are here. In the lower self, which you call hell. Would you consider the internal body of you hell? It's a deep thing. They consider you hell. They consider the body outside of you hell. They know if they leave you, they go to hell. They know they leave you, they die. It's a deep thing. Would you consider the internal or subsystem of you hell? Because you're going below or inward. <laughs> it's a deep thing. So would your chakras be in hell? They are internal. They are below. <clears throat> Whites won't be here when the building is done. The whites are always going to be here. Y'all got whites in y'all motherfucking eyes, bruh. Can we not get lost? Your motherfucking sperm is white. Everything has an application. Where they gonna go? <clears throat> you 
yes, Mexico has a lot of black female goddesses. Yes. And you should, guys should look into uh, some of the uh, belief systems of these people. You might learn a thing. You might learn something. Hindu has black female deities. <clears throat> yeah, Shanti, Shiva, things like that. Um, yes, but do you understand uh, that they tried to invade India and had issues? You know, the invasion of India was extremely difficult for them. It's still difficult. They still haven't fully invaded India. They've invaded everywhere else. But India is still, uh, is still, um, <clears throat> uh, protected. Same for Japan. But you have to understand, you know, pay attention. You know, they have a red dot in India, but then Japan has a red dot as their fucking logo. They are part of the same belief system. <laughs> you know, and it's deep, you know. <sighs> I'm deep. You're deep. We're deep. I'm on crystal glass right now, too. They drop a brick of knowledge. Yeah, I read that. Let me put that. <clears throat> Man, that's the truth. They are our builders. <clears throat> Ants, 80s. Gotta think. Love that series. Yes. All right. Let's catch up. Is that why I ate them as an infant? I was trying to figure out where they were going. Yes. This is, I did the video prior explaining how in ancient times they would consume things to learn things. That's what the fuck y'all do now. Y'all consume things to learn things. Food teaches you resurrection. Plants teach you. I, that's a whole nother video. But you get downloads when you eat, people. So no different than them damn herbs. You know, I mean, it heals my body. Well, what the fuck? How? <laughs> it's giving you the information to heal your body. When you're eating that fucking steak, it's giving you the information not to be hungry no more. It's, it's deeper than that because it's protein. It's, it's a lot deeper than that. But, you know, it's a, it's a way to understand a thing by consuming it. But that's that video where I said the Thanksgiving ritual. They're eating celebrities. Nah, I'm just nigga crazy. It's cool. I don't mind being crazy. Attack on the Titan forces on the enemies after the giants start wreaking havoc, but before the Great Flood. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What would, what would be uh, giants wreaking havoc, though? What would that be? That would be sex, people. That would be... That would be Atlanteans sleeping with Lumerians. And now you have Babylon. Now you have Kemet. <laughs> you know? Put two things together, then you get this convergence. And then y'all know the convergence. Y'all don't really know the origins, but, you know, Egypt is the convergence of Atlantis and Lumeria. Uh, Babylon is the convergence of Egypt, Babylon, and, and, and uh, Atlantis. You know, it's converging. <laughs> I think it's whatever gaseous planets it radi radi radiates. Remember, gas is associated with ether, people. So don't get lost. <clears throat> and light is associated with blood. <clears throat> Speaking from source. I'll take that. Yeah, my name, just because it's so literal. <laughs> Very much so. And the reason why they don't use C's is because they don't want to acknowledge uh, the crescent or the feminine. You know, so a lot of things have that K or convert to that K. Because when you put a K on its side, it's a pyramid with a, a, a cap over it. You know, so it's like capping your crystal, capping your direction. <laughs> We're trapped in the fun house of mirrors. Either the internet and media will help us get out or get further trapped in the illusion. That's a great analogy. Yes. You are in a front house. You must use the mirrors to get you out of it, you know. And if not, you would just be lost in that motherfucking front house. 
but you don't really remember um, in previous videos the way that they've got spirits inside of this Claire, this body, was telling them that this is an amusement park. All right, hold on, because I'm getting hot now. The fucking sun is heating up. <clears throat> so, when you uh, didn't have a body, you understood that you still observed the life, but you didn't feel life. So, uh, you observed your maker, which is your dad, sipping this coffee. And they're like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, you know, that's, that's that. And, you know, they experience it, but they don't feel it. I felt me sip, because I did it, you know, but anyway, I felt me sipping this motherfucking coffee. So, it is the macro being, it is the being on the outside that kind of, like, feels the thing, you know. Um, there's a movie called Cool World. You should watch it. It's interesting. And uh, talking about how uh, you're real because you feel a thing, you know. And ghosts don't feel, you know. Um, spirits don't feel. It is the egg. That's why I said your body is important. It is your egg that allows you to feel a thing, to, to feel love. Not just no love, you know, or think you know love, you know, or just no sex, you know. All of us know sex. But you want to feel sex. It's a deep thing. So this is how they got uh, all these spirits in this body. You know, hey, guess what? Get inside this bitch. You're going to feel sex. You're going to feel food. You're going to feel life. You know, so they're like, fucking hell yeah. You know, I'm bored. Remember, we're spirits. We get bored in this life. So why wouldn't you be bored in the internal life? You know, shit is real. You get high in this life. Why wouldn't you get high in the internal life? Same shit y'all do out here is the same shit you did in here. You know, so you was, like, bored. You know, so you were like, man, fuck it. All right, cool. Let's go. Pew. You know? And then you're like, oh, shit, I can't get out. The fuck? Oh, shit, wait. How the fuck? Wait. Get it? You know? The fuck? Let me out. You know? This is what the fuck we dealing with. You know? So they got you to, to place yourself... Or they got to place, you know, a spirit within this being. But then, you know, Lucifer was a little smarter than that. He was like, oh, no, y'all ain't about to hit me with the okey-doke. Fuck, no. Hold on, wait. Time out. You want me to do what? I'm a little smarter than the rest of these motherfuckers. So I know they going in that motherfucker. But hold on, wait, huh? And, you know, mama got like, look, look, little nigga. You don't really have a choice, you know? This is what I've created. You going into my creation. Just like I created light and put your ass in there. Or, or created fire and put your ass in there. You gotta go where I tell you. So I'm gonna put your flame, called a soul. I'm gonna put your flame inside this being. Then let's really see what's popping. Let's really see uh, <clears throat> if, uh, you know, uh, you're worthy and they're worthy of me. You know, because I gotta test you too. You can't return back to me if I ain't know you, uh, you're, you're pure, you're 100%. It's a deep thing. <clears throat> I fuck with the Moors, though. No offense, you know. I don't want to offend nobody, you know. Get y'all a country, you know, and then start calling yourselves fucking Moors. Just saying, you know. Or explain that Moor is an ideology, you know. Not, I am a fucking Moor. I don't, I'm confused. I'm lost. Like, the fuck does that mean? Er? Okay. You know, like, for example, I put up, um... America used to be called Turtle Island, okay? So, if I say I'm a motherfucking uh, turtle, turtle Islander, all right, that's a point of reference. That was documented, that was written down, motherfuckers called America Turtle Island, you know? So, if I say I'm a Turtle Islander, that's, that's what the fuck, I can say that. <laughs> Even though there's no Turtle Island right now, that shit was documented, that shit was real, that shit was here. Where the fuck is more at? Saying. <clears throat> Glass, water, their mirrors, portals. Yeah, I did videos on that. Very true. TVs and phones are black mirrors. <clears throat> Magic mirrors. Portals. When glass seals or steals your light, <clears throat> seal. <clears throat> when glass seals 
your light, or steals your light, <clears throat> it divides you even further into the matrix. Yes. And in addition to dividing you, it stores you. So listen, the ancestors are literally giving you all the information to save yourself every day. Every day. <clears throat> it is the... Uh, the mental memories that are projected in the uh, glass all around us that make you forget. It kind of like pushes out um, those subconscious thoughts and then activates you in the conscious memories of you. Oh, you know, uh, TV, I'm hungry, you know, all this, this just triggers. It's constantly triggering you into this life and not to go beyond this life. It's a deep thing. <clears throat> Your light body gets broken down via photons photos very very true so let's uh remember the building blocks of life electron neutron proton a photon these are the building blocks and then you get the other things that build on that you know your hydrogen your oxygen then you get the other things that build on that your metals then you get it's building now but it has to come from a template don't get lost. It is the intermingling of things that grow things. Metal is the intermingling of oxygen, of air, of water, blah, 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 you know? So you have to integrate. <clears throat> the golden coast. Gold is a conductor. Yes, and remember the uh, uh, periodic table list uh, AU as the symbol for gold. So, uh, Auburn, Aubrey, you know, um, Drake Aubrey, I think his last name is A-U-B-R-E-Y, some shit like that. So, even gold is attached into the little Draco's name and shit. It's deep. You gotta pay attention to all the little signs and symbols they put around you. <clears throat> Dark versus light, free form versus construction. Yeah, definitely. Earth my water, water my blood. <clears throat> blood your soul. So you have to remember, blood, well, let's not even get lost. Soul. Soul would be a solar, meaning light source. It is the blood in your body that's illuminating or giving life or light to the internal you. It's a deep thing, you know. <clears throat> you hack out these parasites, they're on their way to hell. That's Kleenex. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Lumeria turned into Sumeria, Sumer. No. Why would you be confused? Don't be confused. The word is right there in front of you. L. L turned to a S. It represents the serpent. Who represents the serpent? Lucifer. How do you turn an S? I mean, how do you turn a fucking L to a S? You just curve it. You just add a sign or a wave or a frequency to it. It's a deep thing. <clears throat> Cannibals, cannabis. Y'all not getting it. I'm trying to tell y'all, the vegetation is the original cannibals. Cannibal, cannabis. It's not on me to tell y'all these fucking words. <laughs> Eating humans and breeding hybrid species. Sure. God, Rick. <clears throat> was like, let's kill them off before they start fucking the fish. <laughs> Keep moving. Is that not what live streaming videos are basically watching without feeling? It's not live stream, it's anything that's recorded. Videos don't capture feelings, people. It is you that watch them that then project feelings. And what you have to understand is, the feelings you're getting is going to be different than another person. So it's about 16, 17 people watching this right now. Everyone's feeling different. Everyone has their own feeling about this video. You know, so uh, this is the, 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 
the deep sea when when something done in person i'm projecting my personal feelings onto you now with this <clears throat> it's a little different i'm still projecting my personal uh feelings and opinions to you but my feelings are converted into opinions you, know, you can't feel me <laughs> through a fucking technology you can feel me if i'm in your face got breath on you spit my motherfucking aura, you know what I'm saying? You feeling that shit. You ain't really feeling me on this shit. But you're feeling yourself. Because you're analyzing what the fuck I'm saying and bringing it into self. I'm like, oh shit. I got a feeling. Woo! <clears throat> I learned so much this session. Thank you. Look at this shit. I'm just sipping coffee. I don't know, people. This is how my mind go. Gold is attached to uh, my name. Cool. Lou to Sue. Yes, I told you I had a white girl named Susie. <laughs> That's an interesting video. I'm going to go watch that one again. <clears throat> Eat the bodies, feed the information. It works in fact. So, okay, that's the last one. So, I think I'm done. You know, if y'all don't have any other questions, comments, or concerns, I'm going to end this. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'm not in Facebook jail no more, so I will be sharing this, but I appreciate it <clears throat> if you guys could share my videos, and uh, yeah. <clears throat>